Warko Goshi is one of the Ethiopian renowned painters with an international background. A visit to work Goshu's studio or to one of his rare exhibitions is always a moving artistic experience. After studying at Fine Arts School of Addis Ababa, he went with a scholarship to Poland, where he studied paintings and graphics, getting a Master of Art degree from the Academy of Fine Arts in Krakow. After marrying his Polish wife Barbara, he returned to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where he now lives and works. Warkus resolutely painted semi-substract shapes, his artistic subtlety, and above all, his exuberant use of a blue tonality invariably opens up many new vistas to the imaginations. He created fuzzy symbols in flowing dark and gloomy colors. Eyes became faces, and faces became eyes that mutated and multiplied over and over again on the canvas. Um, the whole life, so 42 years continuously painting and discovering and exhibiting and traveling and as I told you painting is my life. Since I was uh, seven years old, oh, and I developed from that age, and I attended the fine art school when I was uh, nearly 20, and I studied there for five years, and after that I went to Poland for my further studies. And one year was a language course, and after that, and I went to uh, in Poland. Oh. I went to Krakow, the Krakow Art Academy. This is one of the famous and the oldest academy of arts in the world, and uh, very good professors. And the city was also beautiful. And that's the place where I met my wife. Oh, and we studied there together with her. Uh, six years in Poland. After that, we came back to Ethiopia. And we started uh, the painting. The whole life I paint. I enjoy painting. Especially the blue colors. It represents, you know, deep, the deepest and the darkest. And this I saw, this I feel it, you know, during our revolution time. We were in, in the dark stage at that time. And then, as a believer, as a believer, I believe, I believed one day the life will be will. This is how I started, you know, with the blue and light. In 1993, and this was very difficult for 
for our old Ethiopian citizens. It was a difficult time. And uh, it was a transition time from communism to another era, to another uh, system. And then, but Ethiopia always believed in God. Ethiopia always raised her hands to God. And that's why, you know, uh, it came to my idea not only, you know, to separate with the ideas, with the politics and so on. And first, in our country, we need peace and unity. And after that, everything uh, can be solved. And thanks to God, then, uh, of course, my prediction is not uh, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah, yes. Warku Goshu spent this as an Ethiopian artist inspired by his country's aged old artistic traditions which he and his beloved artist wife Barbara are constantly interpreting. Barbara is well known by her unique paintings on stones and woods. I came here to Ethiopia which became my second country. I belong here by my spirit, by heart, by love to my family, to the Ethiopian family to my Ethiopian husband and I wouldn't like to change my life if I will have any possibility to do that. I am thankful to God for my talent and for the grace he gave me to adore, to admire and to be happy spiritually in this country. I came from Krakow, from one of the most beautiful European cities, Cal culturally, intellectually and spiritually. I paint here all my spiritual feelings through 42 years. I'm basing on the uh, foundation which is one of the strongest foundation country can offer you. Ethiopia is spiritual, is moral, is great and I would never regret that I came here. The philosophy is to say thank you for God to create all what he did and to make my family very special, very full of love because love is the best and the most beautiful gift that God can offer you when he makes blessing to your family and when you are fulfilling his will and you are fulfilling things given to you as a gift. Warku and his wife Barbara are, however, at the same time, also widely traveled artists of the world, conscious of our global heritage, which they seek to capture in many striking ways. They held a number of exhibitions and their paintings are displayed in different places all over the world.